Just on Cristiano Ronaldo, you can see here in this clip, uh, there's a couple of characteristics that he's exhibiting. First of all, the capacity to use his kinesthetic sense to, to, to sense where the ball is going to land and get his foot in the correct position. So he's able to get his body into the position to be able to trap the ball there, flick it around, and basically get the edge on his opponent there just through that single movement. It also shows good anticipation to be able to get to the ball and anticipate where it's going to land and able to respond quickly to be able to beat the defender. Consistency really is all about the athlete being able to execute skills at high quality regularly. So they're able to perform their skills to a high level all the time. And in tennis, again, this is a great example because tennis is characterized by long rallies and being able to clear the net and keep the ball in the court. So tennis players at a high level display consistency every time they take the court because often they have to uh, hit the ball over the net many, many times just in one game alone. And so consistency is a huge part of that particular game. In soccer also, consistency is important. And Tim Cahill is a fantastic soccer player who plays for the Socceroos and he's able to regularly uh, put the ball into the net and score goals. His consistency obviously comes through training and experience. It obviously also comes through his capacity to anticipate where the ball's going to land and where to be. And he's also able to use his kinesthetic sense to be able to contact the ball in the correct spot, apply the correct amount of force, make changes to his technique as he's playing. It helps him to be consistent and perform to a high level regularly. Similarly here with the, the header into the goals there, a high level of kinesthetic sense to be able to get his body into the position to be able to contact the ball correctly and put it into the net. And again, showing great anticipation to, to get there and to predict where the ball will be. And also, this obviously helps him to be consistent and helps him to be able to score lots of goals and apply an, an appropriate technique, which is where we are now. Technique is the fourth characteristic. And this is all about being able to carry out the procedure in the most effective manner to execute a skill. And this is an observable characteristic in skill performance because good technique is visually pleasing and when comparing a skilled and unskilled athlete, technique is one of the things that stands out most clearly. You can see in this these two clips here, you can see on the left the correct golf driving technique there. The athlete is up very upright and you can see ball uh, the eye level the eyes are looking at the ball the whole time and you can see that the follow through where the club ends up a long way behind the back and you can see on the right the technique is very disjointed not very smooth the athlete's very unsure and it's just not a great follow through either so that technique skilled versus unskilled you can clearly see the difference Tiger Woods technique again you can see it in real life a great a great shot there and he's able to strike the ball and drive it a long way you can see that he stays relatively upright and the club uh, you can see the follow through is very very effective so the advantages of good technique include economical movement so less energy is used when an athlete has good technique only the essential muscles are used, so fatigue is reduced. It's aesthetically pleasing, which means it looks better. There's a high chance of success. It's biomechanically correct. So consider a javelin throw. If a javelin thrower, if a javelin thrower has the correct technique, they're able to release the javelin at the correct angle, uh, apply the correct amount of force over the distance required, and so therefore uh, there's a greater chance of the javelin traveling further. So high chance of success, better chance of withstanding pressure in a game of tennis. A good forehand technique will withstand the pressure from the other end of the court. And there's less chance of sustaining uh, injuries such as overuse injury if good technique is, is carried out. And really it's a fundamental uh, aspect of achieving uh, at the highest level.